Welcome to our demonstration on how to enable and use the Health Check feature. We begin by logging onto the vSphere web client and going into the networking section. Click on the distributed switch object and then go to the Manage tab. Click on Health Check and then click on Edit. Enable both VLAN and MTU and Teaming and Failover and click OK. The Health Check feature ensures that the configuration on the virtual switch matches the physical switch. Next, we go to the Monitor tab and click on Health. Notice that there are green check marks, indicating that the health of the switches are normal. We select one of these objects to get a closer look at the health. We see the details of the VLANs that are being passed from the physical switch to the virtual switch, MTU, and Teaming and Failover which checks for IP hash or non-IP hash coming from the physical switch. We'll now edit one of the settings to observe its impacts on the health. We right-click on the VM Net1 port group and click on Edit Settings. We change the VLAN ID to 301. This new ID is not trunked on the physical switch this host is attached to. After a few minutes, we see that there are six health issues now. Notice that VLAN 301 has not been trunked on the physical switch. We also see that the MTU health is in an error state for that VLAN. If we look at alarms, we can see that we have alerts raised for all six errors that have occurred. This helps monitor the health status without actually having to visit the Health tab. We will now go back into the port group and reset the VLAN ID to 30. After a few minutes, the changes have taken effect and the health is back to normal. This concludes the demonstration on how to enable and use the Health Check feature. Thank you.